My friend, Mr. Kulin, I see in a paper that our Commissioner Jones has ordered all the Indians to cut the hair and quit putting paint on their faces and not to dance anymore. The Hopis do not dance for fun. That is the way they pray. White people pray to God, but we do not know him. Besides, I thought the American people let everybody pray like they think is right. I do not see any justice in these things. Are we not people just like you? Sincerely, Luke Guanacea. If our museums are ever to have good collections of Indian things, they must waste no time in setting out after them. For none will be left ten years from now. There are no real Indians among the young. Stuart Kulin, 1901. By the time Stuart Kulin first arrived on the northwest coast in 1905, collectors had been combing the region for decades. Kulin spent little time actually among the native peoples who were famed for the dramatic masks. monumental totem poles. Instead, he acquired most of his Northwest Coast collection from Charles Newcomb, a retired physician living in Victoria. I called at Dr. Newcomb's house on the evening of my arrival. My visit was an opportune one. He was anxious to sell his collection. 